The Native American Music Awards, we yeah. were talking about that, also called the NAMI, a growing event each and every year, more and more talented artists right. and everything, and this next story is all about that. You got it, Gerald. Uh, I mean, how many times you listen to Indigenous over the years? How many times? Wow. You know, Joy Harjo, one Red of our Bone. very own, Muskogee yeah, Creeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All with Redbone up for NAMIs. Uh, the NAMI Awards getting better and better, like you said, every year. One of our local bands here around the Tulsa area with the uh, Muskogee Creek uh, Muskogee Creek members actually uh, nominated for best rock recording at this year's NAMI's so wanted to have them in the studio and uh, these guys uh, the joint effect is what they're called the they, they, yes mm. good band uh, play a lot of hard rock and stuff like that if that's uh, if that's your hey if that's what you like these guys are it for you they really do play a lot of music and uh, in a lot of areas around here and we were excited to welcome in these three uh, the joint effect to the studios here and uh, talk with them about their NAMI nomination. <laughs> I'm joined now by Eddie Mouse, David Miller, and John Halata, and they are collectively known as The Joint Effect, a native uh, rock band here in the area, and they have recently made some big news and uh, wanted to share that with our audience at home. Guys, thanks for being with us today on the program. Thanks, thanks for having us. Um, specifically nominated for uh, Best Rock Recording at the Native American Music Awards, the NAMIs. Uh, John, can you just tell us a little bit about that? First off, we'll start with you. Uh, uh, maybe just the, the honor it is to be nominated in, in great company for an award. Yeah, it is definitely an honor. It it's, feels great just to be acknowledged, period, from everyone that entered and submitted. And uh, there was a, a lot of people that submitted and, you know, from just to think about everyone from across the nation, you know, and then here we are out of everyone, you know, we got nominated. So, yeah, it's, it's a big honor. You guys are, you know, primarily around the area. You play locally in Tulsa a lot, David. Can you talk a little bit about the following you've built up? Um, we we keep playing. We try to put on good shows and quality music and uh, just build a fan base as we go. You play shows, you get a few new fans, and uh, they've been pretty loyal. Well, John, you, you're also, I think, you write the songs, uh, and, and can you... Tell us a little bit about, you know, not going into the whole process, but where do you get a lot of your uh, motivation for songwriting? Is it, uh, you know, things that happen in life or, you know, your culture? I mean, anything that you, you bring into it, can you give us a little bit of insight on that? Well, my songwriting craft has taken some, you know, it's, there was its beginner phase, you know, which a lot of my first music come from uh, life experiences. But yeah, I would say for the most part, this record definitely all the songs are from life experiences. And Eddie, uh, from a musician standpoint, you know, uh, back there keeping the rhythm uh, with David here in the section, uh, you guys, uh, could you describe your music style a little bit for some people out there that may haven't heard it yet? It's a blend of metal and blues. Uh -huh. It's sort of influenced by, I would say, a little rhythm and blues as well. and. Um, People like to say I play a little jazz style, but I throw some of that stuff in there. But it's, you know, it's basically rock and roll cool. and uh, in a general sense. How long have you been playing? I picked up sticks when I was uh, in the first grade. I started taking lessons when I was 16. When I was 21, I went to Minneapolis uh, to music school. And so I would say over... 25 years. Long time, long time, yeah. What about you, David? I mean, how, how did you get into the, the music, uh, I guess, uh, uh, bug? How did it bite my, you? My family was kind of musical. I started playing when I was 10. I picked up bass when I was 17, and it's been 25 years now, so. Yeah. Well, you guys also, um, the joint effect, there's a little bit behind the name. Uh, it's some explaining there. Could, uh, John, would you care to just share with us a little bit about how you guys came up with that and really what it means to you? Basically, joint effect. I figured it was. Uh, I, I intended it. You know, there's a three three of us. You know, it's a three piece. So I figured it was. You know, like a. You know, the three of us working as a. You it's know, a joint a, effort. Yeah. And there is a definition for it that we have on our website. Um, the actual definition for the word joint remember. effect. <laughs> you know, I know that there's some notable ones. You guys have actually played the Canes. Can you talk about that experience? Uh, what it was like playing the Canes Ballroom. A lot of great people have played there. It was great. Uh, I've been 
The Canes Ballroom is uh, one of the most, probably the one of the most, if not the most historic place I've I've ever played personally. I've played in some pretty uh, national venues in Minneapolis, but uh, I think the Canes probably takes the cake on that. It, for me, it was a honor, and a, it's been one of my goals for for years now. And it was uh, it was fantastic. I thought it sounds great. You guys actually getting. Uh, trying to drum up a little support to go to the NAMIs actually to get the award in person. Can, can you talk about some of that? I mean, getting prepared for that and uh, wanting to be honored in that way? I, I know it's got to be exciting for sure. Yeah, we was just kind of looking for, you know, to get the word out, some support on the voting. The voting is open to the public right now. And uh, I'm assuming that's how they're going to base picking the winners, you know, and they, they're not going to announce it till the day of the ceremony. So, yeah, for the most part, you know, we're wanting you know, to put the word out and get some people voting, get some people aware that this thing even exists, you know. Uh, a lot of people aren't even aware of the Native American Music Awards and, uh, yeah, just getting the word out there, uh, trying to get people to vote and, uh, you know, so we can, so we can bring this award back to Oklahoma for, you know, not just uh, this tribe or any other tribe, but you know, for Oklahoma in general, you know, uh, yeah, that's that's uh, the support that we need is right now is the voting. You know. okay, NativeAmericanMusicAwards.com. Just go on there. I'm sure the voting instructions are right off the top. Yeah, it's all there. It's, yeah. You just, you know, there's a link to all the different categories they have. We're under uh, rock for best rock recording. Wonderful. Well, if you, uh, if you definitely uh, like these guys' music, want to see them honored and bring that award back to Oklahoma, as we said, go to www.NativeAmericanMusicAwards.com. You'll see there on the site uh, where you can vote for the best rock recording, and uh, you'll see right here Oklahoma's very own, the Joint Effect. And uh, these guys are very proud of their music, as well as they should be, and so are we around here at Muscogee Creek Nation and in the Indian country. So, fellas, thanks for being with us today. We really enjoyed having you on the program. Thanks for having us. Well, Jay, 